bit of a before photo of the um, hubcap before I go ahead and put paint on it. You can see there's not much paint left on this one, so it's going to be pretty easy to clean up. Righto, so I've just taken these hubcaps down to the uh, car wash and give them a go over with a high pressure hose. It took a fair bit of stuff off, got all the grease off. Um, I've just hit it with some degreaser and now I'm going to start sanding. To, um, starting off with um, 320 grit. Then we'll go up to 800. Probably that's about as far as we'll go with that. Um, hit it with some wax and grease remover and then we'll give it a first coat. So stay tuned for that. Right, uh, during uh, my sanding and cleaning I've discovered a few cracks in this hubcap. Um, one in particular was pretty bad, this one here that was in one of the wheel nut holes. Um, all I've done is put some super glue on there. Instead of clamping it and waiting, I just had, had held it with my hand and a little bit of a hot tip for you. I put a bit of baking soda on there, or baking powder, whatever you want to call it, bicarb soda. Sprinkle some of that on there and it'll dry it instantly and that's what I've done so I didn't have to sit there holding it. So that's just a little hot tip for you. Okay, so I've got this to a stage now where I'm happy with it. I didn't end up using the 800, I mean the 2000 grit, I think that was a bit hard. Actually I didn't even use the 800, I just used the 320 and that was enough. And in fact, um, if, after reading the instructions on the, on the can, it's, it recommended 320 anyway. So. What we're going to do next is use our wax and grease remover and a rag and give this a good good clean and we're ready to paint. It's just, just as simple as um, spraying it on. Do a section at a time because if, if you read the instructions it actually tells you not to let it dry. So we'll just go ahead and clean in there and Get it cleaned up as best as possible. I'll be back. Okay, before I start painting, I just wanted to let you guys know that I am not a professional at all. Um, what I can tell you, the more time you spend in preparing your product, sanding, cleaning, and making sure everything is clean, free from dirt, wax, and all that, the better, generally the better res the result that you'll get. But anyway, I'm ready. I've been shaking this can now for about a minute and we can get our first coat on. Let's do it. So far so good. See you guys back here in 10 minutes. Alright, I am back. That was a quick 10 minutes for you. Not so much for me. We're ready for our second coat. Out of three, by you that's what I forgot to mention before. You've got two light coats and one medium coat according to the directions. So let's get stuck into our second coat. That is looking amazing already. We're only two coats in, third coat remaining. I'm still debating, and I'm going to wait till we're finished, 
on whether I should put top coat or clear coat on top of that, but so far it's looking like it's not going to need it. But anyway, we'll be back in another 10 minutes. See you then. Righto, back again for our third and final coat. Now on this last coat, make sure that you get everywhere. Because I have noticed that where the, the nut holes go, <laughs> if that's what you call them, um, I've missed a bit, so we'll make sure we'll get that on our third pass. Oh, I'm using a, a high performance wheel coating, which is specifically meant for wheels and all that sort of stuff. Um, and it's uh, the standard uh, silver that most a lot of cars come with. So let's get stuck into it. Okay, so after letting this dry for a bit, um, it's become apparent that uh, we do need a, a top coat on this, so I'll put a couple of coats on this, put it back on the car and see what it looks like. So let's get in and stuck into this first coat, see how it goes, eh? Nice. See you back here in a few minutes uh, for a second coat. Okay, so we're back here 20 minutes later, uh, ready for a second coat. Um, I've rotated this uh, for 90 degrees just to give us a bit better coverage, so um, let's do it. Alright, that's the second coat down. Um, I'm going to wait, like I said, wait until it dries, see if it needs a third coat. Um, if it doesn't, that's great. Uh, what I'll do then is let it dry overnight. Um, back in the morning, we'll come and hit it with some uh, car polish, put them on the car, and we'll see what these bad boys look like. So stay tuned for that. All right, guys, I'm back here with the uh, Civic. Um, I've got the hubcaps back on. Um, I gave them a quick over with some um, car polish just to get rid of all that fine sort of grit on them. Gave the tyres a bit of a tie shine to make them look all pretty. But uh, you can see the result here, it's um, actually not too bad considering it uh, only took an afternoon and um, a couple of tins of spray paint. That's all it was. Um, something that I could have done, and you guys can uh, do that too if you've got a few scratches on there from um, curb rash or whatever, um, it might be a good idea to. Um, invest in a, a spray of this a tin of this spray putty it um it'll help you get rid of those scratches just before you you know put your paint on um just hit it with the spray putty allow it to dry for a minute and then put maybe a second coat on let it dry and uh, just sand it back until those scratches are gone works pretty good so um just keep in mind too these are just hubcaps so i'm not going to go to go crazy on them if they were something a bit better than maybe yeah but anyway um, I consider that a pretty good um, result. So if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe, and um, I'll see you next time for another episode of JFix.